of greetings so this is going to be another general love reading for the taurus please do check your rising and your moon placement for added clarity um because it is general so it may or may not resonate thank you to all of my new and my old subscribers for all of the support it is greatly appreciated if you are new to my channel and welcome it would mean a lot if you hit the subscribe button also, my website and my Instagram is linked in the description box below. I do post all of my sales and discounts on my Instagram. This reading is for those of you who have someone that you're dealing with in love. Someone who is in your energy, whether you are single or not. Um, but I do hope that it resonates. Okay, let's see. Please bear with me. I've tried to do this a couple of times and... I'm getting too caught up in the messages and forgetting where I am. So I'm trying to. All right, let's see. All right. Also, I'm going to read all uprights for this series. Just try something different. I'm trying a new spread. So, all right, let's see. So we have the Four of Swords. And the Ten of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands. And the Ace of Wands. We have the Seven of Cups. And the Knight of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands and the six of cups hmm. and we have the lovers card with the star card okay so we have gemini aquarius yeah so far um hmm, interesting we do have the queen and the queen here of the wands energy um so for a lot of you i feel like this could be more of a physical connection between you and this person so sexual or it could be that you guys are dating this could be something that has just started where there's like a lot of passion or intensity or something like that um why is this four of swords here with the ten of swords what is this Okay, we have the Nine of Swords. So, I feel like this is something where it's either very impulsive, like you guys get together um, based off of like a build up of wanting to see each other because there's an energy of you both wanting the connection, both wanting to interact, both wanting to connect. Um, but I feel like when you two are separated, there's a lot of mental activity that happens that... Um, like creates a lot of anxiety and i feel like with this mental confliction this anxiety this worrying um the stress not being able to sleep this kind of thing i feel like um it's creating the energy of a bad ending um some of you could be having dreams of like something not being right in the situation for you i have the sun card that came out we have leo um some of you could be having dreams or like thinking a lot getting some sort of downloads when you're like at night time in regards to the situation um and that could be trying to tell you something so if that is the case you should listen to that we have the five of cups so i feel like what this is saying though all in all taurus is that um this is a situation that brings happiness brings enjoyment that brings fulfillment when you are physically in in interaction with this person it's not really something that when you're not dealing with this person it's like that energy is lingering if it makes sense so it's something more in the moment than it is like hmm okay but we do have the lover's card here with the star card so um 
we'll see what that's about okay why is this queen of wands here with the ace of wands i just feel like in this situation taurus you know what it is you want we have the knight of cups you know what it is that you want in this situation we have the page of pentacles and the chariot card so i feel like you kind of deal with the situation for what it brings to you the benefit of it and then you're willing to just walk away or be cool with it um I just feel like you know what it is that you want from this person. And it's like... It's either if it's like... If it's, if it's for... Okay, for a lot of you, I feel like this is sexual. And you just want something sexual and you're fine with just getting that and moving forward. Or you're just finding pleasure in like going out with this person for drinks or dating this person or however you're interacting with this person you're cool with interacting with them on that level and then being like leaving it at that okay yeah nine of cups i didn't even see that that came out nine of cups so you're all in it for the benefit of you what it can bring for you how it can satisfy you within the moment um but i do feel like you have a lot of attraction to this person now let's see why is the seven of cups here okay so we have the full card the ten of pentacles and the moon card so we have aries aquarius and cancer pisces um i feel like this person is very confused when it comes to you and so they're trying to take things slow but i feel like there's a part of them that feels like Things are comfortable, like they're comfortable enough with you in some kind of way to move into something more secure or they feel really secure in the connection and the security, whether it's just feeling like they know you or um, it being very a very intimate connection, whatever it is, whatever the connection is, I just feel like they feel as though... Um, it's comfortable enough for them to feel secure enough to like just kind of like let themselves go in a sense but the timing on that is the thing because i feel like they still are um really in their emotions in their head and not really sure how they should feel so they're taking things slow but i do feel like something about you tourists make this make something about you and the connection make this makes this person feel secure and like they can move into something more but they are not being fully completely open as far as their emotions with you um i'm not seeing a lot of that at all i think they're still trying to figure out um how they feel about you okay so why is this king of wands here so we have the page of wands so i feel like this person just wants to get to know you more they have an interest in you they have an attraction to you they want to reconnect and see where things can go if this is a situation where this was like a long-term commitment for those of you because i know there are some of you um who watch this or whatever or um are coupled but or have been dealing with someone for a long time but i feel like if that is the situation towards then I just feel like um, there's some reopening of happiness happening within the situation because you both are kind of on the same page of like wanting to deal with each other for whatever reason. I feel like you have there's something about the situation that benefits you in regards to this getting back into a situation with this person or staying committed to this person. And um, this person just is kind of wanting to see where things can go with you. They're curious to see where things can go and they have a lot of emotions for you and they want to see you know where things can go also okay before i even do that okay going back to those of you who have been dealing with this person for a long time if this is a situation like that so i just feel like this person wants to see where things can go if they reconnect with you and see where things you know and things can you know get past this bad ending that you guys previously had or this hurdle or this challenge whatever um type of ordeal and i feel like there will be some healing um if that is the case between you and this person just based off of you both being on the same page of wanting to get things to a better place excuse me now getting back to the energy of um 
the kind of more fresher thing or situation scenario. Um, yeah, I feel like this person is just curious to see where things can go with you and they are wanting to reconnect with you that's for sure now let's see why is this lover's card here with the star card also if this is someone that you just start freshly dating or this is a more sexual connection i feel like this person does um want to move into something more with you but at the same time they like um like being single and having their options open like having multiple options so why is the star card here with this lover's card Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so we have the Devil card and the World card that came out like this. So the Devil card first, the World card, and then the Two of Cups. So we have Capricorn. Okay, so a couple different scenarios. So, or maybe not, but I just feel like... Um, because you both hmm. I feel like this situation may grow based off of like a sexual connection for some of you I just feel like it's something where you guys are both like hiding or trying to avoid how you feel about each other but it's gonna come to a place where you guys start to see what it really is um I also feel like someone may be trying to figure out how to man manipulate the situation into something more. Um, made all, like literally all major arcana. This is pretty serious. I definitely feel like there's going to be some sort of decision that's going to be made. Um, I mean... I don't want to make this video too long. Let me just ask one more time. Let's see. This person. I just feel like you and this person will establish something like come to some sort of conclusion of something like come to not necessarily a compromise but just know like your roles in the situation and how it benefits you both and just work it based off of that so for some of you it may not actually be a serious commitment it could just be a relationship that you have that works for you and this person and there's some sort of emotional fulfillment in that. So we do have the Four of Wands and the Justice card. So we have Libra. Um, I definitely feel like you will reunite with this person if you are waiting. Because again, we did have that Four of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords energy. Um, okay, we have the Eight of Wands and the Strength card. So, Swords... For some of you, this is a situation where someone is stuck in their head of whether or not they want to move forward with you and they're moving slowly. But I think something is going to be happening a little bit more fast pasted um, between you and this person. Like, I feel like there's something that's going to either like a conversation that's going to be had or some sort of action that's going to happen that's going to create confidence within this person to know how they want to come toward you. Um, but I do feel like there's going to be some sort of expansion within this relationship between you and this person, whether it's you both having a conversation and establishing, you know, what what is needed in the situation for you both in order to continue and just being on the same page with that. Um, for some others of you, it could be a situation where you are um, separated from a lover or not on the best of terms with a lover and things will get back on track. Um, yeah, I see it. I feel expansion though happening. Some sort of serious commitment, like you being on the same page with this person. Okay, let's see. What is the advice for the Taurus? Give me two cards for what the advice is for the Taurus. 
in regards to this love situation. And you know what? I'm not going to use these cards because they're going to confuse the hell out of me. Because, okay. I'm going to use these cards. Sorry. But if you were curious to know, you got the brilliant idea and creative writing card. Um, so there's some sort of idea or some sort of perspective that you have that you can continue to expand on that will help you to expand the situation um, is what I heard. Okay, so we have door to, pill, uh, door to personal healing and happiness. one card okay healer of the ages hmm yeah if, if you're separated from a lover there will be some healing and coming back together um but I just I feel like there's some sort of like whatever is happening within the situation Taurus it's opened up a portal for expansion within yourself as well so i feel like the expansion within this connection with this person is reflecting the expansion and the growth within yourself as well um and i feel like something about whatever challenges have been here um or will be within the situation are reflections in which you need to heal um within yourself so I hope that makes sense. So like if there's something you don't like about your partner or something that doesn't sit well with you when it comes to something, like you have to figure out how, you, how you're how you a reflection of that indirectly or directly. And some more clarity for the Taurus. Okay, we have the Five of Cups. Yeah, we have the Lover's Card and the Seven of Swords. So I feel like you may be... I just feel like you just act because I don't want to make this super long. It's already 20 minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, I just feel like something about this is opening up a portal for some of you. This could, If this is new, this could be a situation where you were single and you had some bad experiences and you took a break from all of that. And now the situation is coming in. Um, and this is like a confirmation that you've done the work that needed to be done and reap the rewards. Um, for others of you, there's something healing or smoothing over. And this even could be pertaining to this person's like mixed emotions or how the situation is moving. Things will smooth over basically is what it's saying. So I'm going to go now. <laughs> if you would like a personal reading, my website will be linked in the description box below. Thank you all so much for all of your support. And I will talk to you later.